Hey guys, welcome back to Ferrigno Freedom Channel. I'm Dante Ferrigno. And for those of you who don't know, I have been doing Lion Diet now for close to 950 days. And it has changed everything. Since day one, it started changing everything. And it's been truly amazing. And for those of you who do know, uh, I was recently on a show with Carrie over at Homestead Howe. And he was doing a 10-hour live stream talking to carnivores all around the country because he is raising funds to produce a carnivore documentary movie. And he's got big plans, and I'm glad to be a part of what he's doing. I'm even more excited to have been somebody who he claims is the impetus for his even starting this diet. So it's something for me to be able to, to spend time working with somebody like Harry. And I wanted to be able to share it with you because I know a lot of you, you look at a 10 hour long live stream, you might be like, ah, oh, that's a lot to try to digest. But I wanted to share with you the short segment that I was on his show. So we're going to go ahead and let that roll now. You got an amazing story. I, I, I hate to do this, but can you just hold that thought? Because I want to shout out your YouTube channel. I know okay. you're doing that. But my friend Dante's here and he just has a couple minutes, I believe. And oh, I, I, I just... I'm going to shout him out and then I'm going to come right back to you. So I apologize, but uh, Dante, how's it going? It's going good, man. Can you hear me? I'm just making yes. sure I put the headphones on afterwards. I, I apologize. I know you just have a couple minutes. I so appreciate you taking the time to come on here. I, this is my daughter, Emma, by the way, and she's a carnivore because of you, my friend. It was me and then her and now my, my mom's doing it. My stepdad's doing it. It's just like spreading like wildfire. But before I start rambling, would you mind just telling people that aren't familiar with you a little bit, just like maybe a quick background, your story, your carnivore, brief carnivore story? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I was, I didn't even know anything about a carnivore community or anything like that on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter. I had been following Jordan Peterson because he was making a lot of sense in a lot of other areas. So I was just watching him for several months and then one day I was watching him and I think he was on Joe Rogan. He asked Jordan, so are you still doing that all beef diet thing you're doing? And you could have, it would have been like a record scratching in my head that stopped for a moment and said, wait a minute, what did you just say? You eat only beef. And uh, I started looking into that a little bit deeper because what I was going through at the time, aside from being close to 300 pounds, was th that wasn't even on my radar. I was having these gut problems that were killing me. Now I realize it's a mixture of the food I was eating and the stress I was under combined because doctors had no answers for me whatsoever. I was going to see a gastroenterologist and they had scoped me down this end and up the other end and said, they don't see anything wrong. And then the, my primary care doctor would say, there's nothing wrong with you. Yet I would wind up in the hospital because I would have so much pain in this area right around my belly button I used to describe it like a black hole that would just be sucking the energy out of me and sucking the life out of me is what it felt like. But it would be painful too. I thought maybe it could be related to the fact that I had uh, laparoscopic surgery where they took out my gallbladder back in 2002. They went in the belly button and went up to get the gallbladder. So, I mean, there's a number of things that I thought were causing it. The only thing I know is, is that doctors had no answers. They actually made me feel like I was crazy for even coming to them because they, they, they thought either I was crazy or I was seeking pain pills. And I was not interested in pain pills. I mean, they're great and all, but I was trying to fix the problem at the time. Back then, that's the way I felt. I mean, now I'm happy to be off of anything. But back when I first started, I just wanted solutions and they had nothing to offer because ultimately they didn't have any medicine to offer that was outside of pain relief. And I think they just thought I was making it up to try to get them to prescribe pills. And they have a hard time with all the laws that involve that. I heard Jordan Peterson talking about how it had it healed this numb spot on his leg and it had healed gum disease, which is related to heart disease. And they say that's incurable and that it had helped him get over needing SSRIs for a chronic depression that had been in his family for years. His daughter was the same with that. And on top of that, she had rheumatoid arthritis that was causing her severe pains and surgeries and all kinds of things going on. But it turned out her answer was lion diet, which is basically, for those of you who don't know, 
Lion diet is a form of carnivore diet, but it's a little bit more exclusive in that I don't eat pork or chicken or fish. I only eat ruminant animals and I eat, uh, drink water and I have salt with my drinks and with my food. And that's pretty much all I do. I started recording a video as I was progressing through because I figured, well, I'm probably going to lose some weight on this. I had done Atkins diet back in the mid 2000s and I knew I lost a lot of weight doing that, but I didn't get healthy. It didn't change things like this did. And after 125 days of doing lion diet, I released my, my progress on my YouTube channel that I had created with doing a video game thing with my son for a while. So I launched the video and then it just went gangbusters because I had like 300 views before that. And I thought, wow, everybody wants to know about this. I thought, this is amazing. I didn't think it was going to get this much attention. So I decided to keep talking about it. And since then, I've had so many people that have come to me telling me about the problems that they had with their gut or with their, their problems with anger control, brain fog, being able to sleep good. It fixed so many things that I didn't even anticipate, like being able to get up in the morning. Jordan Peterson had talked about that too, but that just went right by me because I was thinking all about my gut problem. And I haven't had any gut issues since. As long as I keep seed oils and sugars and things like that out, it's, it's perfectly fine. Now, I started working in a restaurant about six months ago and I got exposed to pork and uh, apparently some seed oils and that, that caused me some issues. But now that I realize that, I've gotten off of those again and it's right back to normal. I feel good. I have energy coming out of my ears again. I want to get back to exercising again. And I have found that it has just become my calling, my mission in life to encourage other people to do this because I realize that it can be really hard when you're trying to do it on your own, especially if you're in the house with other people who are eating all kinds of garbage that you realize is not good for you. And you just need somebody there to encourage you to keep on going or to keep on exercising or to keep moving in the right direction. And that's what I've been doing. And now I'm starting to look at some other research and I've been reading a lot of stuff about cancer lately, specifically about uh, Otto Warburg. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he was a cancer researcher in, in the Germany during the 1920s, 30s and 40s and all the way up to the 60s actually. But he was doing research on cancer that was revealing that sugar was basically a key component of cancer. But once genetic science started to take off and they discovered the oncogene, which is where they get the word for oncology, they decided, well, this is the answer. We're just going to forget all this research that Warburg was doing because we didn't really like him anyway because he was involved with what was going on in Germany. Now that researchers in the past few years are taking a closer look at it, they're realizing the reason why we went from one in 500 people having cancer back in the 1800s to one in three people winding up with cancer at some point now is having to do with the fact that sugar was the key factor. They were blaming it on civilization in general. So if, if I thought it was my enemy before, now I realize it's, it's an enemy for a lot more reasons than just the gut issues and the weight gain and the brain fog and to just feeling awful all the time, but also it seems to be the key factor for cancer. And I'm hoping to come up and talk about a lot more to do with that on my channel in the very near future. I just picked up a whole cow today. I got to show you guys this. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I just got back from, uh, all at once? Huh? Did you pick it up all at once? <laughs> yes. I picked it up all at once. And I had no problem for carnivore. Oh, wow. I just, just filled up the freezer. It's nice. all grass fed, grass finished beef. This guy that raises cattle down in Dixie, Georgia, he, he has the key to raising cattle and he doesn't use any chemicals on his farm. He doesn't use any chemicals on his animals, on the land, anything. Everything is done naturally. So you get some of the best omega three to six ratio. I got a couple of ribeyes in the air fryer right now getting ready. So. Life is good, man. Life is good on lion diet, carnivore diet. And I encourage people that are not, you know, maybe they don't have all the issues that I had, but I'll tell you, if, if you're having any problems, even if it's just getting your weight under control, I'll encourage people to go for regular carnivore or even keto, whatever it's going to take to get you to get away from all that processed garbage out there, to get away from the sugar, the seed oils, the bread, 
the refined salts and uh, rice and things like that. Get yourself some healthy salt, some natural salt. Like my personal preference has been Redmond, but um, I'll tell folks that are in other countries that maybe can't get a hold of it, Himalayan pink salt, Celtic sea salt, any kind of natural salt is gonna be much better for you than the, the table salt that is stripped of all of its minerals. And I just, I get excited every time I talk about it, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why your, your channel is so great. It's uh, you're genuine and you're excited about it and you've practiced what you preach. I, I don't know any other channel. Like, just for anyone that doesn't know, Dante's channel is Ferrigno Freedom. So I just showed the picture of it. Everyone should go subscribe to this man's channel. I, I really, Dante, don't think I would have started Carnivore if not for you. Yours was the first video I saw. And frankly and honestly, I thought you were a crazy person. I'm like, there's, there's no am. way. I'm, there's something up with this guy. I just can't. But it, it got me to research and then go watch a bunch of Dr. Barry, Dr. Barry videos. And then I thought he was a scam artist too. But I kept researching and researching until I'm like, oh, I'm just going to try this thing now. And it's, it's changed my life forever. And you in particular, Dante, because you and I did that video together a while ago. I think we've done two together. And I've gotten so yeah. many comments on that. And I got so many comments earlier when I mentioned your name about just how many people have taken the path of Dante Ferrigno to Dr. Barry to starting Carnivore, mm -hmm. changing their life forever. And you're in that equation in every one of them. Like, how does that feel? You got to be getting comments all the time from people saying, you're what inspired me. You're, you're what made me start doing this. It's like, how, how does that feel? That, that's what keeps me going more than anything. I didn't think about this becoming something like it has been to where it's becoming my full-time gig at some point, but I'm just honored to be a part of anything that helps people get their health under control because there is so much going on in the world right now that's enough to make your health bad just from dealing with the insanity that's going on. But then on top of all the food and all the stuff that's happening, uh, with uh, them trying to make us eat crickets and all kind of other garbage. It, we need an awakening and we need healthy people. We need people that are going to be healthy and have mental clarity mm -hmm. to be able to stand firm when this evil that's going on in the world comes our way. And I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, I, I met Dr. Barry when I went to KetoCon back in April. And he was talking about how he is ready to start taking on some of these big organizations and I, I'm glad to be a part of that. If you found Dr. Barry because of me and he helped you to get, get anything, that, that's all I needed to know. As far as I'm concerned, if I've helped somebody find better health, whether it's through my channel or somebody else's, it doesn't matter. I just want to be able to help more people find the freedom. That's why I call my channel Ferrigno Freedom, the yeah. freedom that I have found in this way of living. I, I, it's like I unzipped the body I used to have I used to joke about it with my wife all the time. I wish I could just take this suit off because I'm tired of carrying it around all the time. Yeah. And now here I am about to be 51 years old. I'm in better shape than I was when I was a teenager. I'm at my high school wrestling weight. I mean, I had to work to get down to my high school wrestling weight when I was in high school. And here I am at this age being able to do it. And it's just easy and it's awesome. Even my cattle rancher, the guy I bought the cow from, I got a video coming out tomorrow where we're going to be talking to him and his son between the two of them they've lost close to 200 pounds since christmas wow. and they had the meat right there under their hands you know right there under their nose all this time but they were eating it with bread and sugar and all the other stuff and they thought i was crazy too yeah but eventually eventually they caught on and man it's almost like leading somebody to the lord when i find out that they've changed their life because of this way of eating and that i was the influence that brought them it just, it brings me so much happiness to be able to give happiness to other people like that. It, yeah. just, it means the world. It's amazing too, because like you just see me as an example, but like I mentioned, my daughter Emma's carnivore now too, but now because of her example, someone else is. And because of my example, my mom is, my stepdad is, and now they're inspiring people. So it's like, it's all spreading, but it comes back to Dante. It's pretty amazing if you really think about your reach when you think about it that way and how much it's, it's spreading around. I said this too. I've been getting a lot of comments. I did that 30 day update video and it seemed to fire some people up and inspire people. And I use the words you just said earlier. This is like my mission now, but it's almost switched a little bit now. It's almost more like a responsibility. It's like I have this information oh, yeah. and you see these people just suffering needlessly and they just don't know any better. They don't know how good it could be. That, that was the whole thing with this carnivore uh, diet movie. 
And uh, just a real quick update on that, Dante. This has been nuts. We're at eight hours and 30 minutes right now. And Adam, what are we at roughly for what we've raised? Seven thousand and fifty-five dollars, and yeah, over fourteen thousand doubled. <laughs> Unbelievable! Someone generously said they would they would meet dollar for dollar every donation. So we're at seven thousand just for today, which is fourteen thousand dollars, which is like almost bringing a tear to my eye because this whole thing, Dante, it's all it's it's uh, crowdfunded. It's just donations, and I put a whole bunch of my own money into it, and we've got the camera. And we've got this crazy story with Bill who was on here earlier. And we have 200 people that are participating. And the whole thing is we just want to follow these people around. Several different people, not just um, obesity, but diabetes. Mental health is a huge one. IBS, autoimmune disorders. Follow them around for a year. And not tell people, hey, you got to do carnivore. Just look at these examples. Because your example, Dante, is what got me going. It was just your example. And those examples are so powerful. And then you see people you can relate with and so many people with these examples. It's got to it's got to fire some people up. So I, I can't I, I was hoping maybe we'd raise a couple hundred dollars today. I can't believe what's going on. here. <laughs> I couldn't believe how hard it was to get in. I thought you were when I heard your, your plans for this, I said, boy, that's pretty ambitious. But I'm glad I, it's I, turning out like it has, because I, I, the yeah. one thing I would like to see is now that we have the numbers, I want to see restaurants restaurants start making carnivore uh, protocols. Yes. I want to I want to see somebody start a yes. chain of carnivore restaurants. I mean, I, yes. I don't have the funding to do something like that, but somebody out there is looking at this and thinking, "Hey, there's a whole market for this." Because yeah. we can't go eat anywhere, at least on Lion Diet, it's really hard. Uh, like the rancher guys, they just eat regular carnivore, so they can eat cheese and whatever they want. So they go out to restaurants a lot, and they I, I ask them, I said, "Well, you realize they're." They're still spraying the grill with that stuff, even though you tell them, unless apparently there's a few restaurants out there that are aware, because one of the things he brought up is as soon as they mentioned that they wanted meat with no sides, the waitress asked, oh, you're doing carnivore. So you need me to watch out for seasoning. You need me to watch. That was encouraging to know that some restaurants are waking up to it. But I mean, it needs to be as entrenched as this whole vegan and vegetarian thing. And then when you think about the vegan thing, Gosh, it really just breaks my heart. There was a young girl that just passed away the other day. She was like 22 years old, died of starvation from doing veganism. I don't know anything about her personally, but I know this. Her young mind was full of garbage because they've been lying to her about this stuff. Mm -hmm. And now here she is dead. And that breaks my heart. So that sad. breaks my heart to hear because that's somebody's daughter. You mm -hmm. know, it could be somebody's mother for all I know. And it's just because she had a mind full of junk that somebody else is passing on. And I think a lot of these lies are intentional. So it is what it is, <laughs> but we're fighting against Preach it. Preach it. Preach it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. It, well, one thing that's been eye opening with all of this is there's a lot more carnivores out there than I realized. Maybe some of them are kind of in hiding or whatever, but here at our movie theater, I, I was just telling them I had like four come in the other day and now just this thing today with all these people on here, and then you, you look at like Costco or whatever, these big things, they're getting lots of that keto food, which by the way, is mostly all just junk, but there's a yeah. demand for it. When people start realizing it's junk, hopefully that'll start evolving to where we get to the point, like you said, oh, it'd be amazing to just go to a carnival restaurant and order some food. So hopefully, hopefully we get there. Yeah, I got dreams about that. So hopefully we'll either see somebody do it or maybe it'll come my way. It's all in the Lord's hands as far as where, where it's gonna take me next, but it has been a roller coaster ride not just the diet itself, but finding this community and being able to help so many people and to, to be a part of it. It's exciting. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad I was able to be here with you guys too. I so appreciate you jumping on. Cause like I said, I wouldn't have started without you. So I, I just have one last question for you. So okay. in your, your first video, you said, ultimately I'm doing this for my family. I was really touching. Okay. I think that that gives me goosebumps when I heard you say that so sincere and everything. Like, how has it changed now with your family? Because like your mood, your demeanor, it's like you're a different person. How has that dynamic and everything changed? That's, that's exactly it. I mean, I think that I was the administrator at a retirement home at the time that my problems really started with my gut. And a lot of the stress wasn't the managing of the home. It was dealing with the bureaucracy. Ever since the ADA passed in 2013, it was just getting harder and harder 
for us to do business to take care of people. We had to spend more time filling out ridiculous forms that nobody ever looked at, following protocols that actually hurt people and didn't help people. And those were the things that were weighing on my soul. And then on top of that, the financial part was getting harder. And it seems like you, you, you're, you're kind of restricted on one end by, by minimum wage and you're restricted on the other end by how much your people can afford when you're dealing with a home like that. So we had a very limited window for how we could take care of people. And it wasn't like something where we could just raise our prices because we'd lose customers. And all of that stuff was weighing heavy on me. And my wife was working with me in the business too. And the difficulties that we were facing were eking into our marriage. And on top of that, I had a lot of anger. For all my life, I had to deal with anger. And I, th th this is one of the amazing things about this diet is that I, every once in a while, I can get prodded for a moment, just enough to like feel like I wanna lose my cool. But then what used to be a volcano going off doesn't go off anymore. It's something I'm able to pull back in and just say, you know what, it's not, it's not worth getting upset about because adversity is gonna come. Adversity is inevitable, but stress is optional. You gotta decide that you're not gonna let the, the adversity in the world become stress inside of you because then it takes you out of the game. And on top of that, I was, you know, it was causing me to have troubles with my wife who just walked in the door, but she's not, she's not dressed to come over because she's been out working in the yard, but she says hi. But I mean, I was pretty tough to live with, I think, around the time that I started Lion Diet. So much so that, I mean, it, it was putting a lot of pressure on our marriage. I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail, but you guys know what it's like. You know what it's like that if, you, if you've ever been with a partner for a few years, we'd been married 10 years. And she wasn't seeing the man that she married anymore. She was seeing somebody who was just feeling the pressure all the time. And on top of that, I was drinking and using other things to try to help me control my anger and stuff like that. Nothing was, was working in that effect. But the diet is what helped me to get control of my mind and my emotions. And even when I was a kid, like my parents had me on Ritalin when I was very young because I've always just been real hyperactive and all of that. I have more control now than I have ever had in my life. And I had all the mental reasons to be in control of myself before. Like I, I knew that you need to be disciplined in your thinking and that I had studied scripture and allowed that to have an effect in my life. But my body was fighting me so much. The, 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 the flesh itself was stronger than my spirit. And lion diet has allowed me to overcome the issues where my flesh was just dominating my thinking and not allowing me to be the person that I could be. And now our marriage is great. Mm. Uh, it's, it's like it should be because I'm not letting things get to me and she doesn't let things get to her. We're able to face adversity together and now we can go through the storm. And that's what I talk about when I say, I want to see more people healthy in this world because we need all of the people that are dealing with all the craziness that's going on to be together on doing the right thing for each other, doing the right thing for your family, doing the right thing for your community, because that's how we're going to overcome all this insanity that's going on. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad to know you. I'm forever indebted to you. Seriously. I, I really, I really thank you so much. And, uh, Sincerely, I'm not just saying this because I owe you. Everyone should go check out your channel. I love your channel. I watch it all the yes. time. I, I'm so happy you're, you're in your house now. And what you're, you're almost on a thousand days of lion. Is that about right? Getting there. Uh, I got the date written down somewhere, but it's coming up. I know I'm well over 900 days at this point. So. Yeah. I, 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 actually, I can tell you, I think you're at 950 because <laughs> when, I'm at, yeah, that's how much I watch your channel. But no, um, you inspired me. You told me I'm at day 900 when we had our last video together. I'm like, this guy's been doing it for 900 days. I'm on day 90 of carnivore. I can go 10 days lion. So I started that day. Yeah. I'm on day 50 now. So I'm 50 of, 50 of strict lion. So you got to be right around 950 if my math is correct. But either way, that's amazing. And I'm, I'm loving lion too, by the way. So thank you for that also. People that do carnivore, I always tell them, if you're not seeing the results you want to see, Maybe you should try le leaving out some of the other meats that are uh, not as clean because what ruminant animals have that other animals don't have is the ability to one, eat 
vegetation to eat grass and then two to remove those toxins because they have that multi-chambered stomach that's just designed to weed all that out so that we're getting what's natural and healthy from the earth in the meat that comes from those animals and when they're raised properly like the way big mo raises his cattle it, it's just it's as good as it can possibly be yep absolutely yeah if you're doing carnivore already you you you've you've got over the hard part going from carnivore to lion it wasn't very hard for me at all i do miss bacon every now and then but i feel so much better but uh thank you so much I've i've had my battles with bacon too and i don't miss it i i it's just one of those things that when it was around i would have some and then it would always cause me trouble and then the other day i had a little too much about a week or so ago and it was i was right back where i was two and a half years ago with my gut problem i th felt like i had the flu almost but i didn't have any any other symptoms of the flu it just was hitting me like a like my whole body ached so you know, you just don't know until you try to eliminate those things. And that's where an elimination diet can show you what other foods have been doing to you. Yep. But that's thanks for having me, Carrie, and thanks for all the kind words. You know, you give me a big head if you keep praising me too much. But uh, I, I have this I, I'm thing, just, I got to give credit where due. So I, I, I thank you a lot. But I really encourage everyone, go check out Dante's channel because it, it's great. Your content's great. And you're, 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 you're awesome. So thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you too. Awesome. Anytime you want to do a video together too, sir, you have an open invitation, live stream, whatever. I'd, I'd love to do another one sometime. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Roger that. Take care, brother. Thanks, Dante. Bye guys. Bye Aaron. So that was really something being able to be there. And I, I had no idea what to expect when we, when I called in to join his show, I just knew I wanted to support the efforts that he was doing because the more people we can get aware of carnivore diet and its benefits, the better it's going to be for all of us. So I'm just thankful to have been a part of it. And I'm glad to be able to share it with you guys. I hope you found it useful, especially if this is your first time viewing any of this, because it was able to give a lot of my story in a nutshell. For those of you who watch my channel and wonder, what's this guy talking about all the time? That's basically it right there. And I get excited about it because I want to see people healthy. I want to see people happy. And I want people saying, screw it, I'm going to get up and do it and change in their lives. I'll see you guys next time. Could we maybe get some grease or fat?